the Oshkosh Beer Blog. I'm Adam from McKnight Carlson Wines. And, uh, well, I'm not even sure where to start. Uh, <laughs> this gentleman here is Jimmer Peschel, formerly of Oshkosh, now of uh, the Twin Cities area of Minnesota. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, maybe we should start by explaining where we are. Where so, are we, Jimmer? <laughs> we, are, we are in my fishing shack. Um, I brought this shack over from uh, Apple Valley and drove all the way over here to Lake Winnebago and we got the shack set up out here and I'm spending the whole week out here. And, and uh, yes. you're living out here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, I, the, how, how many how many miles out are we from shore? About four. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you say it's a fishing shack but one of your fishing holes is filled with um, <laughs> home brewed beer. So yeah. I'm starting to wonder uh, if this is really all about the fish. <laughs> um, okay, so one of the things, we're going to have uh, beer from New Glares here, and I thought what would be good about having Jimmer here is uh, Minnesota people seem to love drinking New Glares <laughs> beer, no matter whether they have well, to they're supposed to or not. serve it yeah. illegally or not. Yeah. But, uh, so, Jimmer, now you can do it legally. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. We're in the middle of a lake. Is it legal to drink uh, New Glares beer in the I, middle? I, of I think you have to. Lake Winnebago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. International yeah. waters. One of those. Yeah. All right, so not only are we having New Glarus, but we're having New Glarus Oud Brun 2016. So we're going high class out here. Today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Oud Brun, that's uh, uh, Flemish for old brown. And this is a, a Belgian style beer. This is a beer kind of uh, a specialty of Northwest Belgium and the Flanders uh, region. Flanders Fields? Flanders, uh, <laughs> Belgium. So this is the second time they've made this beer Holy and no, when was the last yeah. time they made it? it was about a year year well, and a half ago this was the first when they finished that what they call the fruit cave the old riverside brewery yeah this was the first uh beer to come out of the, okay. the what they're calling it the fruit cave yeah so this is uh that came out in 2014 the okay. first one to come out of there but this is the 2016 version so you can see it's a nice uh yeah kind of okay. well, some caramel caramel malt to it caramel, and yeah got a Caramel so some of you may have had Rodenbach before. I think that's a fairly similar beer to this, similar in style. Yeah. Flanders Red or Flanders uh, Oud Brun style. I mean, this is a really old style of beer. Where in in Belgium, some brewers would would boil the wort for like twenty hours. They had these just ridiculous ways of achieving that kind of caramelization. I'm not sure how Nuglaris goes about doing it. Wow. But. That's a fantastic beer. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Jim? I'm not real big on sours, but this isn't so overpowering that. Yep, it's, it's it's got a nice malty sweetness too. I always think when I've had this in the past, I always think of like a fruit cobbler. Yeah, you know, because it's got that you nice get the malty, tangy acidity on the finish, the, the richness, but then there's that uh, yeah, that acidity, wine wine like acidity. Yeah. Um, one nice thing is that I I did have a bottle of the uh, the last vintage of this recently, and it tasted fairly similar to this when it was released, but it's it's added so many more kind of. You know, aged red wine notes and uh, balsamic vinegar, and, and it picked up a fair amount of uh, sourness as well. Yeah. So, it, it does have a real. It reminds me of like a wine. You know, it does have that character mm -hmm. of like a wine. The the fruitiness of it too, but the acidity just goes yeah. really well together. This would be a great great beer with some some nice cheese. I think some. I think a yeah. nice gorgonzola would do well with this. So. Yeah, that'd be really good. It's blue cheese. Yeah, they have a interesting way of doing this at Nuclear. So, they brew the beer. And then they transfer that wort into a cool ship, this large, open, um, shallow kind of pan, basically. It's just huge, though. Um, and there the, the wort cools and becomes inoculated with wild yeast. Well, like, when they pump it in there, it, it steams up into the, the beams of this kind of... It's got this building as a, a cathedral ceiling, and the steam gets in the beams, and then droplets start to uh and then Back that, the that starts fermentation yeah. Right? yeah so it's a spontaneous fermentation and then they um they age it in these <clears throat> huge uh, oak uh vats that called fooders uh f-o-e-d-e-r-s um and it'll it'll sit there and each of these fooders has a different sort of character you know some will be more sour than others some will be you know less sour Lower, yeah yeah and then at the end they blend it to get up the final product yeah and we were there in uh november and we had different beers off of those fooders and it's amazing some of them are so sour yeah i mean just like piercingly sour and then others are, are quite mild well that just kind of you, you see that the the blending is part of an, the art form as well i mean that you can't you need to weave those those different different beers together to get a final kind of uniform flavor and that's that's part of the fun yeah i, I really like the sweetness of it i do too yeah. you know 
I mean, you have a taste of that, could you? Sure. Please? Yeah. We got an off camera taster. <laughs> See what? No. There you go. Oh, I got no shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> this is very nice. And there's nice yeah. kind of vanilla and vanilla caramel toffee. So, do you suppose this is the first time uh, this beer has been drunk in the middle of Lake Winnebago at a fishing mm. shanty? It could, it could be. Mm. I think it might be a new tradition, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they will come up with it every year. Oh, <laughs> so you do this every year, huh, Jimmer? Uh, so I always come over for Battle on Bagel coming up uh, this Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. fishing contest. So I've been coming over I think probably six years now. I always come over for that. Uh, just so happened that I extended the stay and did a whole week. Nice. Um, another thing too, uh, the sturgeon's spearing. So I wanted to it's come like and apple. and see some of that tradition and yeah. go hang out with some guys in their shack and. As they sit and just stare down a hole for six hours on it. So this is this is is this the longest you've ever lived on the ice? Yeah, yes it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's uh, it like? Other t other times we've done probably like maybe four day uh, uh, trips. Uh, so the thing, good thing here is that it's in Oshkosh, so um, we do have family here, so we can drive in and like. We cleaned up this morning. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, that's yes. one of us. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I have to ask you, uh, where do you go to the bathroom? So you saw that little uh, shack out here. Uh -huh. So that's shorts. our that's our porta potty. Oh, I see. Nice, <laughs> yeah. nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, Jimmer, thanks for uh, inviting us out here. This is well, great. Yeah. You know, this and it's, it has a, quite a cool how we you just meet up with friends just so through many different people, just different beer, yeah. yeah. Or some of the other. Last year, I met uh, Mike, the mead guy. Well, uh, Mike Fair Service, sure. Home. And he oh. saw us, and it so. Uh, he came over and started drinking beer, and it's just cool to like, common interest and you strike, awesome. up, strike up a friendship. Well, hopefully uh, we've done something new here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we'll get to do it again. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Jeremy. Awesome. Hey, cheers, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.